Hey, Ant, um, just another night where a tough start kind of dug you guys a hole. What was it about the, the second half that really was able to get you back into it tonight? Uh, we just played hard. You know, we came out and we didn't want to let them score uh, uh, 140 points if you do the math, 70 and 70. You know? So we just, you know, got some pride and play hard. And I was wondering also, too, what are you learning playing with Malik? And we just learn about him as a player, as a competitor, and what did he kind of, sh- you know, what's he showing you with these fourth quarters like he's having where he's ringing, really bringing it at these guys? Uh, he can shoot the ball. <laughs> he can shoot the ball really good, catch and shoot. He, he shoot the blood out of the ball. Do you guys feed off of his energy and his intensity, kind of the stuff that he brings that way? Uh, yeah, once, once he starts making shots, he's a whole different player, yeah. Chris, go ahead. And for you, um, it was a slow night getting you going early on, but as the game wore on, it seemed like you, you kind of figured out how to probe and how to attack uh, Dallas' defense. What kind of adjustments did you make um, that helped get you going tonight? You got to know how to get to the rim, and I feel like I was doing that poorly in the first half because every time I went, Porzingis was blocking it. So I kind of started to – take mid-range pull-ups and three balls more because they were just packing the paint and finding my teammates. What do you think uh, about the last two games? Um, you know, kind of a similar pattern. You guys got down big. Uh, you get into halftime. Ryan gives a, a, a speech and lights a fire under you guys, and you come out in the second half and play better. Uh, what do you think it is about the, the starts that you have to improve on going forward? Uh, we just got to come out ready to play. We got to warm, warm up harder, I feel like, and, you know, be breaking the sweat by the time it's game time and just be ready. Thanks. Go ahead. And going up against these opposing wing players, um, Shea and now Luca, does this just make you get better and better on a nightly basis going up against guys like that? Uh, as far as what? Like, especially like defensively, things like that. I'm just getting those types of challenges, that kind of experience. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, like I said, I, I got to grow and learn how to guard a ball screen, guard off a ball screen. So once I once I get that, I feel like I'm going to be in a pretty good position. And uh, I'm sure you're really at other points in your career you haven't lost like this, this often. Um, how do you keep that from mentally wearing on you? I just stay in the gym. I just stay in the gym and try to get as better as I can, no matter what. Try to take my mind off the losses. Dane, go ahead. And I was, I was wondering kind of about the end of the game. You guys went on your run kind of by trapping. You're talking about those ball screens, but by trapping when they were – anytime they were sent in a pick. Do you feel like for you that that's just kind of natural when, when you guys are just defending really um, kind of aggressively in that sort of way rather than maybe, you know, dropping back or the, the ways you traditionally defend it? Uh, yeah, because it, uh, sometimes it depends uh, part of the game we're in, but sometimes it's easier to rotate when we're being aggressive because – you just know you're going to have to rotate sooner or later because somebody's going to be open. So once we be trapping ball screens and stuff, we all just come together like, hey, you got to rotate, you got to rotate. So, you know, it just makes things easier and it makes us, you know, get more into the game because when you bring it on defense, the offense is going to come. And then you were just talking about kind of like going to the basket, playing somebody like Porzingis. And I know obviously your your strength, main strength is your strength and, and being able to get all the way to the rim and, and dunk on people and stuff. How do you balance that with mixing in like a floater game? Seems like you've kind of prioritized trying to get up there for the dunk rather than, you know, floater. How do you balance that? Uh, I mean, I had a floater today. I was happy. I had one today. But, uh, you know, that's that's something I'm working on this summer, my floater. I mean, it's not not 100% confident in a floater. That's why I try to get to the rim as much as possible, or shoot a three ball or the mid-range. So once I get my floater, I feel like I'm going to be all right. Like, they're going to have to come up a little more. But – Right now they're bagging up, so I just pull up for mid-range. And I'm pretty confident in that. Last question to Ferdinand, go ahead. Hey, Anthony from Puerto Rico. You are improving in each game since you came to the NBA. What have you been able to learn and improve from your game? Uh, great question. Uh, just watching film. Uh, yeah, that's the answer. Watching film and, you know, breaking down film as much as possible. Like telling my people, hey, send me this, send me how they guard. Let me see the last team they played and how they guarded him or what offense they run, the star player, the wing player, what he'd like to do. And 
you know, just watching film. So the more I study the game and learn the game, the better I'm going to get each and every game.